hello and welcome to another episode of The Nightlife. It's your girl Tanya and in today's video I will be showing you how I make carrot juice. I will also be trying something new. I'm going to juice some purple cabbage. I named this juice Purple Rain. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. We appreciate it. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. And most important, if you find value in this content, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Now let's get into it. So for this video, I am going to be making a carrot juice. I've already gone ahead and um, uh, soaked the carrots in some vinegar and water. You know how we always do. We clean our vegetables before we juice them. I've soaked the carrots in part vinegar and part water. And for carrots, you guys, I just prepare them as such. You see this part right here, this little part that's in the ground. You want to cut that off. Now, I'm being very careful not to cut my finger here. I cut the bottom piece off, just like that. So, yeah, nothing too difficult. Um, I was able to get organic carrots, so this time, whether you have organic or not, you should still get in the habit of cleaning your vegetables. And I don't peel the carrots. I don't feel the need to peel the carrots. Um, that's taking away more food value than I need to. So um, whether I have organic or not, I always make it a habit to, to clean my, my produce in a solution of vinegar and water um, just so that I'm being safe. And like I said, I cut the, the bottom part off, the part that's in the ground. I don't juice that part. I mean, you could, but I don't, so I just, again, I cut it off, and that's how I prepare my carrots. Alright guys, so right here soon you're going to see me rinsing off the carrots. I had them soaking in vinegar and water. I'm just rinsing them off with a final rinse of water here. Guys, a lot of the times you'll see me using cucumbers in my juice recipes, and I don't use the traditional cucumbers a lot that you see, that you would expect. Um, they have like a little waxy film on them, and so I use the English cucumbers. They come wrapped in the plastic. Um, I do try to use them uh, often for a base for most of my juices, and that's why I use them because you know, you just peel the plastic off and uh, like I'm doing now, a lot of the times they come wrapped in this, these plastics. They don't have the wax on them. I don't know if you can see that. They don't have the wax on them uh, so, and they do last longer, uh, surprisingly, not surprisingly. Um, they do last longer than a traditional cucumber. Um, my only issue with them is it's hard to get this plastic off sometimes. But I, I use them as a base for most of my recipes. It kind of stretches out the recipe. And especially when you're juicing leafy green vegetables, it helps to get the, the juice all the way through the juicer. And here we go, I got the plastic off. So yeah, there you go. I think they're called English cucumbers. I don't peel them. I just wash them off. I take them out the plastic, I wash them off, and um, that's how I prepare them. Now you know how we do. We clean our produce and our vegetables always in a solution of vinegar and water, or whatever concoction you want to make up to, to clean your produce, but you should always make it a habit to clean your produce. Now, um, as I said, I'm going to be making a carrot juice, and always my base ingredients for my juices will be my celery 
my cucumber, my lemon, my ginger. Today I don't have lemon because I forgot to get lemon, which is troubling to me, but for today's juice, I am going to be making a carrot juice. And in the juice are the following ingredients. I'm gonna turn my camera. We have some cucumbers, ginger, celery, pineapple, carrot, and some oranges back there. And you wanna be careful with the ginger. Um, if you're a newbie with the ginger, take it easy because ginger is very spicy and it has some kick to it. But I'm gonna be very liberal with the, with the ginger because I love ginger. Um, I, I just love the way it hits the back of your throat, the burn. Mm. Anyway, so that's the juice we're gonna be making and all the ingredients are pictured here for you. Cucumber, celery, ginger, pineapple, carrot, and orange. Loading up the hopper here with some carrots to start us off. Oops. Get a mess here. The thing I love about the Nama is you can you can load this thing up. You can load it up. And you don't have to babysit it. You know, you don't have to chop anything into small pieces. But you can load it up and essentially walk away. And I just dropped the carrot, and I'm gonna get that in a minute. But as soon as I can close this, I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, see, I'm not babysitting the juice back there. It's back there and it's, my big head is in the way. Back there juicing and I'm not having to babysit it, which I absolutely love. I can be over here at the sink like I am, doing other things, prepping other things, and I don't have to babysit it. Oh like with the Nama, I was so hands-free that it's like I didn't know what to do with my hands. So much time. No, no babysitting of the juicer. So I'm loading up the hopper and I turn around to go to the sink to wash off the cutting board. The juicer's still going. I've loaded it up. I love the Nama J2 because you don't have to babysit it. You can put big chunks in there. I absolutely love it. guys check this out. I was at the sink. I came and I checked to see if I needed to put anything in there. Nope. Went away because it was still juicing. It was kind of full. Left. Still came. Oops. Came back. Yep. Now it needs something in there. I love it. I absolutely love it.
right now our carrot juice is done. I am going to give it a stir. I've got a glass of ice here, of course, ready. Man, fresh juice is so good. The juice you make by yourself, no preservatives, no additives, just fresh. So good. Carrot juice. That's all. Carrot juice. You guys, I'm about to make something. I'm about to do something new. I am about to juice a purple cabbage. This is my very first time, and I'm glad you're here with me. I've, I've already uh, cleaned the cabbage and chopped it in half. It is a purple cabbage. I'm going to be juicing it in the Nama J2 and I will let you know how it goes. So for this juice recipe I am going to be making purple cabbage juice use the purple cabbage. There is some carrots, some ginger, some oranges, some pineapple, celery, and some cucumber. This is my very first time juicing cabbage. I've never had cabbage juice. Of course I eat cabbage. I love cabbage, but um, on its own cabbage juice. I heard that it's good for digestion, so um, I will let you know how that goes, but that, that cabbage is beautiful. Beautiful purple cabbage, as well as the other ingredients. I love it. So I'll juice it up and come back and let you know. We'll do a taste test on camera. Guys, too, here I forgot to mention, I used an entire, a whole purple cabbage. I used a whole purple cabbage. A few moments later. Well, the carrot juice, excuse me, the cabbage juice is done. I'm going to give it a stir. And I have never had this before. So, I got my glass of ice. Here we go. Interesting. Very interesting. Can definitely taste the ginger. That's not bad. That's not horrible. I like it. Looks like grape juice, kind of. I like it. Purple cabbage juice. All right, you guys, that's the end of this juicing session. If you stuck around till the end of this video, I thank you so much. If you have found value in this content, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and go out and make yourself some purple cabbage juice and some carrot juice. Till next time, go be great, go be awesome. Awesome things will happen.